Shut up and sit down. Okay, hey Roddy, welcome back. So I've tried to orient my camera to get like a decent view. I got my hand this really big button right now, which will change. But hopefully you can still see the whole fit by the end. Work on me here. Welcome back to another video. Thanks for checking us out. So today I'm starting this new sesh or new sector where I'm taking you through situational moments of choosing an outfit, right? So I just went somewhere yesterday. I want to show you guys a breakdown of how I go through every single piece of picking the fit, hair down to shoes and accessories if I wore any. I don't remember. Let's get into it. Okay, so let me lay out the situation for you guys. Uh, yesterday, I tried to, oh, first, I always limit the amount of times I have to come home. And so I'll try to dress for the whole day for all events and make them all work. And hopefully I don't have to change or bring a change of clothes for the most part. I think I did a pretty good job. Anyways, yesterday I had to meet with one of my business partners. I had to meet with two different groups of friends. And then I had to go to a skating event at the end of the night. And so with that in mind, the only thing that or event that I was going to that had necessarily a dress code and quote, I'm putting in quotations because it really didn't matter, um, was that the theme for like the skating event, I think like floral or like greenery, something. I think it was floral, if I'm not mistaken. Like they were like, wear your flower shirts, whatever, if you have some, if not, I obviously don't. But I'm like, okay, cool. I'll participate. Absolutely. Like we're going to take a photo op. Yeah, I'm there. Whatever. Cool. So first thing was, okay, let's see if I have anything in my closet that's floral. Let's go. And as you guys have probably picked up already, I like to run experiments. So I'm putting my questions to the test. So hopefully I did not tell you guys a bunch of BS. Question number one, what's the vibe like? For the most part, meet with my business partner. That I, It's one person and we're chill because we're friends. So it doesn't matter how I look. Um, skating thing, I'll get hot. So I just need to wear something that's relatively airy, um, ventilated. So I'm not like harboring a bunch of sweat under me. Me with my friends, also very casual. We're probably just gonna go drink or do something of the sort. So, very casual day. There's no real limitations other than, I guess you could say, the flowery piece. So that kind of goes into the vibe. Um, so with that in mind, if we're talking about vibe, right? I have a couple shirts that I guess could go with the flowery. I got this shirt, which I probably wear entirely too much, but I love it, ignore the undershirt, um, that I probably wear entirely too much. Um, there are actually no flowers on it. If you can tell the design, it's, Kind of like triangles and some uh, leaves type deal I got from Thrift a while ago. But I love this shirt, super comfy, very airy, great for skating in that case. And very casual and rather stylish. So I was like, good choice, but I wear it a lot, so I was like, probably not. Next. I was like, okay, I got this shirt, which I got not too long ago. But honestly, I probably err more on the side of wearing this, like going to a club or a bar. Uh, mainly because it's a full foot, it's a full button down. It fits me rather nicely. And so if I am up in the club and like it's, People won't be grabbing onto it too much unless you're trying to grab on me. It's a little different because I'm gonna be like, back up. You better be like, you don't need to do all that. So I was like, eh, casual day, probably don't need to wear this. So this one's out. Last one, I was like, okay, I was supposed to retire this shirt a while ago, and you'll see why later. Um, but I really like the shirt. I really like the design. Um, it's There are little flowers on it, leaves. As you can see, I'm a green guy, leafy, tree, whatever. Um, but I really like the shirt. So I was like, I think this is a winner winner chicken dinner. So this was the first piece that I picked and I was like, okay, I gotta center everything else off this bad boy. So let's get into that. Okay, so I've chosen my shirt as we just went through and I'm gonna refer to the piece that everything, like the first piece as the centerpiece. Everything else around it has to go in accordance with the shirt now. And so let's go back to my theory that I put up, the questions that I had and walk through them. So the second one is number of people to interact with slash goal for tonight. Uh, big one is gonna, big considerations is there's gonna be some networking that's gonna happen with the skating event. Everything else, I know everybody, so only goal is really just to catch up. Doesn't really, hair doesn't matter. But from the networking perspective, I would like people to see my face. I'm making a slight circumstantial exception because at the time, you guys probably can't tell because it's out now, but I had my hair in twists and my roots were looking kind of crazy, so I had to take them out. I was not about to do my hair again the night before, so I was like, well, it sounds like my hair will be in this state, so either bun, back, something else, but it's not getting twisted, braided up like I would want it to be. So in that case, it's gonna be out. Um, and part of the reason why I also wanted to put it out was because it's skating. Oftentimes, like, if I need to, like, bop somebody or someone's in my space, like, 
you know, I can skate away real fast versus if I'm on foot and I gotta like dodge somebody, like I can literally just skate around. And more than likely, people are gonna be focused on my skating versus my hair. Granted, my hair will look cool, but they're gonna be like, oh wow, you're a great skater and your hair is cool. Not, oh, your hair is amazing and you skate, right? Because it's a skating event. So that answers question uh, number seven too with the shock factor, because they'll see it. But like I said, the skating will be the focus. So not a big deal. And then the last question, comfort. In this case, um, I need to be pretty comfortable because I am skating. So whatever I need to wear, just probably needs to be pretty loose feet fitting all together, like all the way down. Um, and the shoes, especially being that I'm gonna, have, it's probably gonna be in more of an open space, so I might have to do some walking. So whatever shoes I have on, I either take, bring a change of shoes, or the shoes I wear need to be pretty freaking comfortable for me to walk wherever we're going. So those answer four of the questions. I'll answer the last one, the full package, once everything's together. So let's do this here real fast. I'll be right back. Okay, hair's done somewhat. Like I said, when it's out, I don't really care how much it, or how bad or crazy it looks. It's fresh out of uh, a twist, so it has pretty good definition. If you guys can tell by lighting, I can't really tell. Uh, but it's, it's decent, it'll get the job done. Plus, like I said, I'm skating. This will be a perfect time, and if you haven't watched my bandana video, check it out, it helps. But this will be a perfect time to put a bandana on, but I've been wearing bandanas out lately, so I was like, maybe not a bandana, and I'll just try something new, something different, but like I said, if I, since I was gonna wear my hair out, like put my bandana on, doing something like this, um, it's definitely in potential, but as the fit goes on, I'm like, oh, maybe not, we'll see. Um, yeah, this is how I'm doing my, my hair. This is how it's gonna stay for now, at least, and then we'll change it at the end if we need to. Theoretically, I'm behaving that this was yesterday. So the next piece is pants, right? So right now, let me move my thing. You can see I got on just my shorts, but I'm like, okay, cool. I got my hair out. I got this short sleeve shirt on, so I wanna make sure whatever pants I have on, rather loose, but coordinate with the blue and kind of still goes with the flow of the fro. So be right back. Okay, back now. So what I have, are three different pairs of pants. I also have some black ones. I'm gonna go and rule those out because they're way too tight and not appropriate for skating. Granted, I could take a change of clothes, still an option, but I'd like to keep on whatever pants I have on and just wash them afterwards. So these are my choices. Um, I have these dark blue ones, right? And they don't really go that, they're like subtly sketched with leaves too. And granted, you probably wouldn't see unless you're like really all up on me, but like as a combination, it's like, Eh, it doesn't really, like, I'd have to try really hard with my shoes if I uh, were to put these on. So I was like, meh, maybe not. So really, I was leaning more on these other two. I got these tan khakis, um, cargo pants, and I was like, okay, cool. Um, general color, so they could really go with anything, and I could really do whatever I wanted with my shoes still, and it worked out pretty nicely. So I was like, good potential, good potential. And then I have these light blue ones, and I was like, okay, I like the light blue ones coordinates still pretty well with what I got going on at the top and it kind of goes with the collar a bit not one for one but like I said close enough to where if they're separated like this someone will be like okay cool I, I see the coordination like it's there so I was like okay I think I'll do these so give it one second okay so here I am I got the cargos on and these are like they're fitted but they're still I hope you guys can hear me pretty well too sorry about that um but they're still like they're fitted, but they're still loose. Like I still have a good amount of space and they kind of stretch already. So it's pretty nice. And I was like, okay, I can get with this. Uh, whatever shoes I have put on, like theoretically blues, whites, general colors, something that's already kind of on me would match pretty nicely. But let's get those shoes. I'm gonna go grab those so you guys can see what they look like. So like I just mentioned, um, theoretically, and just to remind you of the fit, I got on light blue pants. I got on an assorted color of blue shirt. So I was like, a blue shoe, black, or a neutral color would work perfectly fine. I'm gonna go ahead and rule out the whites. I didn't bring them, but um, fine, I'll get them one sec. Okay, right, like I gotta show the fashion, duh. All right, so I was gonna wear these, or considered, considered. Considered wearing these, but when I've been wearing these out too, so I was like, meh. And plus, they're really comfortable to walk in. I have some other white ones that would look better with the fit itself, but to walk in, not all day. That's not happening. Um, comfortable, but not that comfy. So I was like, white one's out. I just wasn't feeling the whites yesterday. So I was like, meh, not that one. Got these blues and I was like, okay, these blues, they, it is a different color blue than both the shirt, as you can see here, if it wasn't already obvious, and with the pants, right? Very different blue. Um, but because they're still kind of close in 
like shades. It's not like the, the worst thing ever if I were to put them on. It's like, meh, no one's gonna be focused that much on exactly what I'm wearing. Um, but then I thought, okay, I have, I could switch it up a bit and do a color that's completely unexpected, right? But still coordinate. So, these bad boys. My thought is, okay, I have a bunch of blue on, right? I always think of blue and red. I don't know why. Um, probably should look into that. But anyways, I was like reds, right? Red number one, these are really comfortable to wear. Um, I could wear these all day and be perfectly fine. Um, and especially being that I was going to the thing, I was like, cool. Kind of has more of a sporty look. Um, shoes that you would wear on the basketball court. Uh, I don't play basketball to be clear, uh, but I like the shoes, so I was like, cool. And as a whole ensemble, I was like, okay, cool. It just breaks up the amount of blue. And I figured that would probably be good because if I wasn't going to wear my jacket, if I wore a jacket all day, then they would just see a bunch of blue all the time. And I was like, okay, it's just a lot of blue. So I was like, let me break it up and put my shoes like that. And then boom, what are we working with? So let me put it on real quick. Okay, okay, okay. So you guys can see, I'm actually going to stand here first. Good skin. Okay, this actually is not a good, in my head it was going to look good, but it doesn't, so. Anyways, so I put on my red shoes. You guys should be able to see if I'm staying in the corner over here. Um, like I said, it breaks up the blue a bit. And the thing is, I'm not entirely done yet. Like, I'm okay with this. This is fine. The thing is, like I mentioned earlier about the shirt, it's a little shorter than what I normally go for. Like, I like my shirt to sit, like, there. But it's not. Like, it's just shrunk over time, which is why I need to get rid of it. But I like it. So I was like, okay, cool. Fine. Whatever, right? Thing is, yesterday it was in the mid-70s. So I had to keep that in mind. I got my hair out. It's a bit warm. It's going to be really sunny. I usually would wear shorts in that type of weather, but I was already dedicated to the pants. So I was like, got to wear a short sleeve, which is why I got the shirt. But the thing is, at night, it'll probably get pretty chilly, which is when the skating event was anyway. So I was like, okay, maybe I need a jacket of some sort. So I was like, let me think. I don't really want a jacket that's going to be buttoned up that I got to like take off or that will, I need something that's going to be easy to take off and put on because in case that I did want to wear it at first during skating and then take it off like I didn't want a whole hassle or take it off during the day so let me go grab a couple ideas so theoretically the jacket that I put on like I said would be easy to take on take off and not be a hassle so our initial thought was to get this jacket right Windbreaker, tan, general color, would work well with the red still and not be like, what in the world does the boy have on? Um, but the thing is, this thing is hot. Like, when I started to get hot in this thing, it's a wrap.com. Granted, could take it off, but I was like, and it's a little heavier than what I wanted to. Like, I want something a little more lighter, like, I need a crew neck, almost. So I thought, okay, what about this one, right? This one's not bad, either. I think it still goes fine with what I have on. Nothing too crazy. And the pink kind of goes with the reds um, in coordination. So I was like, okay, that's not bad. But also, this thing can be, like, the way that this inside, which is also windbreaker, it kind of gets caught in my hair sometimes, and my hair is out, and then I get really pissed off. So I was like, not a bad idea, but probably not the most ideal state. Um, so I was like, mm, eh, maybe not that one either. So then I have this one, right? General color, solid gray, um, pullover. And I was like, okay. Goes well with what I have on. Very general. Um, likelihood is that I probably won't wear it until nighttime. Um, but if I did, it would be fine, especially with skating. Like, I wouldn't have to worry about um, it getting caught on anything or if I'm doing spins and it's like just catch a lot of wind or like throwing it everywhere. So I was like, I think this is the winter, winter chicken dinner for tonight. Um, and to avoid all sorts of zippers, which, well, like I said, with my hair, I was like, eh, let's just cut that out. And this has no zippers whatsoever. So I was like, I won't have to worry about that. That's perfect in case I hate it and want to take it off immediately after I put it on. Beautiful, right? Let's put it on. Okay. Sorry, y'all. I should do the cool transitions like I did that other one. Or at least in my head, it was going to look good. Anyways, so I got the windbreaker on. Like I said, it's still pretty sporty. It goes in line with what the shoes kind of have, being that these are... Let me back a little bit. Being that these are basketball shoes, this is kind of like a... Lightweight, like actually this PPG I'm pretty sure is a coffee company if I'm mistaken. So if I was going outside and just hanging out or if I'm just casually hanging out with friends, like this ensemble works the best. So I was like, I think this is the winner winner chicken dinner. And if I need to take it off, like I mentioned before, it's nothing for me to just rip it off. My hair's already out. I don't have to worry about zippers. Then boom, I'm like, okay, I'm not hot anymore. I look good. It still coordinates well. And this is acceptable and I can do this. Last piece, I think. 
uh, jewelry. So jewelry, generally speaking, is pretty easy. Um, I realize how much I actually hate rings. Um, me and rings, we're just not friends. But I'll make an exception at times. Since, like I said, this is a pretty casual move, um, I'm already wearing this jacket, right? Which is gray. Um, so I was like, okay, leaning on silver. It's usually either silver or gold. Just depends on whatever clothes I'm wearing. I have on blue, which personally could really go gold or silver. Um, and the shoes aren't necessarily, the shoes in case you forgot, aren't necessarily a defining factor. So I was like, okay, I already have in. This Helix already has the silver in. And when I cannot touch this Helix, that's awesome. It's not like bad, but it just gets annoying to put in sometimes. So plus on this other side, I put in this other ring that I don't really usually take out. Like on the back side, it's actually gold, but it has a dime, fake diamond stud or whatever. So I was like, okay, cool. This already works. Like if I, oh, sorry, so you guys can see. Just a general gray, silver, whatever, you'll see it on me. Um, and I'm just putting in hoops. Usually between, it's usually just how I feel. Um, I typically prefer hoops. I don't, I keep losing my studs. That's probably why. Um, but uh, at least in this case, I was like, eh. I don't really want studs. I like the look of hoops, personally. Being that my hair is out, like, if I do have studs, you probably wouldn't see it. So I'm like, meh, that's fine. This doesn't really show off the chain as much as I want it to because it's a weird little whatchamajigger, but just a little something, like, nothing crazy. I don't usually wear watches. Trying to get into it, we'll see. Uh, but this is the full. Let me cut the video. Yeah, I'm running, my bad. Whew. Okay, it was actually a sneeze. That's why I was acting up. Um, Last question, part of my theory is the full package. So this is what we got. Uh, like I said, I'm not gonna do bracelets or anything. It's not that deep tonight. But this is, you can see this whole thing. Um, red shoes, cargo pants, light blue, coordinating with the shirt, which was the centerpiece. Um, rings, necklace and such. Uh, obviously in, in accordance with the jacket, which may or may not come on. Theoretically, it'll come on when I go skating tonight, which is when it matters the most. And when this is all put together, we're ready to ride. So, um, there we go. Yeah, yeah. So this is the whole thing. If you guys wanna, you know, I come a walk on, so I'm just hanging out or whatever. I'm like, okay, cool. I'm hanging on my friends. If I'm skating, I'm like, my spin is like, it all fits. It's all together. Like I don't have to worry about too much movement. And then if I one thing about the shirt that I didn't really uh, talk about was if I put my hands up, you can't see it. Like, I don't like my belly button or my my stomach to be showing it when my hands are up, and I, I really hate that. And so with the jacket, kind of helps hide that, and the only times I would have my hands up would be for skating. So that, full package-wise, goes with the vibe. Everything is coordinated together, so I'm happy with what I wore. It was fantastic. Wow. And there you have it, folks. Uh, hopefully this was entertaining, if not inspirational for you, if nothing else. A lookbook for you to see some other styles. Um, let me know if this helped you at all. Welcome to the brain of Matt Morris and the chaos that ensues. But uh, yeah, thanks for checking it out. We'll see you guys in the next video. Peace. Shut up and sit down.